parliament or the congress whatever the name be given in future in the constitution so at the same time they also say that the appointment of the judges that we have the judicial council comprising chief justice and minister then after the two learned a uh, constitutional expert and one senior judge from the supreme court it is a new dimension we adopted since 1990 and even indian supreme court also went to the same dimension giving the interpretation in the case of the second judgment yeah that can only be viewed by the committee of the parliament so since ya yeah, now we as a vibrant society this is the bar association who was also one of the partner at the time of the april revolution we never thought that this kind of the judicial power will be taken away in the name of the constituent assembly so my question is whether you have some limitation or not when you go when you sit together to draft the new constitution i must say there must be limitation that limitation is sovereignty that limitation is bill of right that limitation if bill of right is there it should be protected through the independent judiciary that only comes not from the political power but from the fearness so that old fearness so my uh, mr chairperson since you have uh, given me this seat also this is not for the student this is for the commentator so thank you very much so but anyway uh this since only one point i would like to highlight that is whether uh, we are going to adopt common law system or administrative law system or the chinese law system it is the very fundamental to know to all the international the people when they made the questionnaire should the power of the judiciary is taken away that question was never in the questionnaire this is the very so we can say this is fraud to the people of the nepal you said whether the parliamentary whether the presidential but you never said in your manifesto if you say you say that very powerful very strengthening very independent very skilled judiciary will be in our new constitution but now what you are going to submit in the constituent assembly is that despite in the questionnaire you are in the mood to take the uh, rights of the people so in the name of the corruption we can say that uh, judges they are also not the tools or the ivory tower a, a judge who has never made mistake is yet to be born one very just one justice of the supreme court he also said so mistake can be made by all but in the name of the mistake this very supremacy of the constitutionalism can never be taken away thank you mr chairperson i accede yeah and the member of the constitution assembly mr kimlal devkota i believe he is not provoked he will be he is demanding some more responses in the capacity of the constitution assembly so now i would like to call up and to make the comments uh, please uh, advocate devkota uh if chairman permit me 
more than 90 percent participants are Nepali. So I would like to speak in Nepali. <coughs> Thank you. I mean, Kaskari constitutional review, judicial review, Kakuragari Rakakasu. I think. Thank you. I mean, you review Kukuragari Rakakasu. Review. Political system का आधार में review हो कि review का आधार में political system को choice हो। मेरे विचार में रा महिले बुझे को it is not on the basis of the uh, on the basis of review on the basis बीच review on the basis of political system is a correct I think। अबे आमी पोलिट यो review को करा political system को करा कर दा constitution को करा कर दा आमी democracy आमी छोड़ सकते हैं ना democracy आमी ले बनने कर सकूँ। when you have a democracy, you can't get a democracy. You can't get a democracy. You can't get a judicial review. You can't get a democracy. 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 You can't get a वाला <laughs> काला अच्छेरहरु अथवा तिनीहरु चाहिँ निर्जीव अच्छेरहरुमा विश्वास गर्न सकिदैन जनताका प्रतिनिधिले जे गर्छन् त्यो ठीक गर्छन् भनेर भने त्यसो भएको हुनाले उनीहरुले चाहिँ सबै अधिकार जनताका प्रतिनिधिमा राखे पार्लियामेन्टमा राखे त्यसै कारणले गर्दा खेरि उनीहरुले के भने भने यो जुडिसियल रिभ्यु भन्ने कुरा र पार्लियामेन्ट्री सुप्रिमेसी भन्ने कुरा यो त कन्ट्राडिक्टरी हो भने Parliamentarian are elected on sun, when you are Janta Priti accountable on sun. Judges are selected on sun, elected, selected on sun, nominated on sun, when you are accountability Janta Priti on the Tescara, review Garne right, a democracy of Viswas Garne of a non elected or live in a elected or live in a person, when you are British or living. Our Parliament is supremacy. Judicial review, do it a cura, milene milne cura. No parliamentary system lie my accept gardina. Only Mitra parliamentary system co or Kaladur nunsa. Jun judicial review to some of milne milena. Yami Kasa, Yoda, Yoda Kalkosa, or some of the cheese bagosa. Parliamentary system of Laman Gardina, my judicial review co cura, Udaina, once of my parliamentary system lay. Accept the Rakuchisla, Mahuda in a Mani Rakasu, or Shavi Shatiru parliamentary system commented at Modega, parliamentary system, okay, one nunsa, the judicial review of Nichain Sabani Ronbakosa, you philosophical academic discussion ma, I mean, do it how much could take name on the Nikao, you could have a Patalavan Perla. Very sure one day got the Pochi Bolle Mitra or Leki, one no lavanetia, the change the Rishaku, one no la. Let's change the Rishaku, one new one, Political system पनी change भागो judicial review को system पनी change भागो change भागो changing context में नया political system create करो और नया judicial review को system बनाऊं ये जो को निरंतरता में आए को status को में हुई ना मेरे आग्रह तिति मात्रे को अब यो करा बनी सके चुके दूसरों करा में कहाँ प्रवेश कर सकूँ ना हमले ये judicial committee को report को बारे में हमले छालफल करी रखेगा सांगो मेरे विचार में ये जुडिशियल कमिटी को रिपोर्ट पहले कुरा जो प्रीलिमिनरी हो प्रीलिमिनरी हो कमिटी में कमिटी में जब में छह से एक जाना संविधान सभा का सदस्य मध्य चौलीस तिरसालीस जाना को उपस्थिति में वोटिंग भाग को अठारह बीस बाईस मत ले सही हो पारित भाग को छह से एक पांच साल फलों ना बाकी नहीं चाहिए दो ही तीन राउंड साल फलों ना बाकी नहीं चाहिए तो बाकी ना ले ये टू ऑर्ली उनसे कि ये बारे में चाहिए ये सरी इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस में यही बारे में हमें विभाजित बाहर डिस्कशन करने कुरा मेरे विचार में ये तेरी ठीक मुद्दे ही ना कि बन्ने मला लगे ऐसा दूसरों कुरा 
तेसरो कमेंट मेरे के हो भादा खेल यो रिपोर्ट कयो भादा यो कंसनसि होना न सकता कारण रिपोर्ट आक हो मैं ठा नाइन्टी पर्सेंट काम सकिखे तो जुडिशियल कमिटी में एवं कंसेंसि एवं रिपोर्ट राम अग्रगामी न्यायिक संरचना स्थापना करना का निम्ति सहमति में पुग्न पुग्न आटे थे तर के कारण पची फर्क जी दुबई पक्ष आपको आप फर्क डिसेंडिंग अपो डिसेंडिंग भाइस सत्तालीस साल के संविधान भाई एक इंच उठा छ पोलिटिकल सीस्टम धे मथि उठी सको धे पर गई सको रिवोल्युशनरी चेंज चाहे भैस रिवोल्युशनरी रिवोल्युशनरी स्पीड में सोसाइटी चेंज भाग कंसिशन मेकिंग प्रोसेस स्पीड में चेंज भाग तर जुडिशियरी रुडिशियल सीस्टम लाइन इवोल्युशनरी चेंज कर पोजिशन थो दोसों पोजिशन यदि तेसो होने सहमति ना को परिणाम तेसो होने हम पोजिशन के हो हम तेई राख इस पोजिशन टेकिंग सीचुएसन में यह रिपोर्ट आसो भाई कुरा हमें बैकग्राउंड में राखे हमें यह विषय में छलफल अगड़ी बढ़ा उपयुक्त होगा भाई लग् यदि एपोइमेंट रिमुवल मैं कसले हे मुख ताक् तो जज ने कंडक्ट में इंडिपेन्डेंट होना सकते हैं मैं एपोइंट जोसुक करोस् मैं रिमुवल जोसुक करोस् तर मैं जज हूँ मैं चाहे इंडिपेन्डेन्ट होने आपको कंडक्ट में उसे इंडिपेन्डेन्सी देखा सकता एपोइमेंट रिमुवल को बारे में टाउ को दुखा पर्च भाई यहाँ आयो यूरोपियन कोर्ट को दीदी ब्रिटिश मित्र ने राख्भ नियुक्ति कसले भ्याल भू कंडक्ट उसे ठीक करे कि इंडिपेन्डेन्ट भो कि भाई भाई भू संगसंग फिर प्रिंसिपल धेरे एपोइमेंट का कुछ भी धेरे आने कर तर तो यूरोपियन कोर्ट का जजर नियुक्त को बाट हो यूरोपियन पार्लियामेंट बा नियुक्त हो इज इट राइट यूरोपियन कोर्ट का जजर यूरोपियन पार्लियामेंट बा नियुक्त होना हो सुप्रीम कोर्ट का जजर ने पार्लियामेंट बा नियुक्त होना कि लजिक पाड़ी छजिक यदि हमी डेमोक्रेसी में विश्वास कर सौ डेमोक्रेसी तो इलेक्शन हो अभी इलेक्टेड मानी कंट्रोल करने ठावे तो पीपुल हो जब पीपुल कंट्रोल करने ठाव में तो अधिकार दिखा खेल को मिसयूज होने तर्क करने हो नन इलेक्टेड मानी को ठाव में इंस्टिट्यूसन में तो अधिकार दिए तो ग्यारेटेड होने कुछ को ग्यारेटी के हो इसी हेन पर्ला भाई लगे आने कुछ अस्वाभाविक मन हो तर इस आने का पछाड़ी के तर्क हो भादा खेल हम जुडिशियरी ने डिवरी सर्विस का बारे में कहीं न कहीं समस्या छो जुडिशियरी को स्ट्रक्चर का बारे में कहीं न कहीं समस्या छो जुडिशियरी को फंक्शनल स्टाइल का बारे में कहीं न कहीं समस्या छाला करेक्शन करने तरीका के तेसला करेक्शन करने तरीका स्ट्रक्चर में करेक्शन हो तेको फंक्शन में करेक्शन हो फंक्शन रिजर में करेक्शन हो तीन टा कु में करेक्शन कर इसी करेक्शन कर रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग गई राखा छो रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग स्टेट को रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग भनी राख्या जुडिशियरी जस्ता को तस्त राख अरु रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग करो जुडिशियरीस कंसर्न भैया हमी मानी इसो भ मिलिट्री ने मिलिट्री नसो हाई अरुण जेसुक करने कर मिलिट्री ने भे पी पार्लियामेंट अरुण जेसुक कर पार्लियामेंट यही राख अमी जे छो हमी नहीं राख वाले भन्ने हो रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग अफ दी स्टेट कह हो रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग भि एज ए होल ये पर्स कि पर्दन भूरा मेरे आग्रह अब इस भाग अर्क तर्क जुडिशियल रिव्यू फिर यह जुडिशियल कमिटी ने क्या भो जुडिशियल रिव्यू पोलिटिकल मैटर पोलिशी मैटर तेस में जुडिशियल रिव्यू करने राइट कोर्ट लिंक कोर्ट को इंडिपेन्डेन्सी रहे कोर्ट कोर्ट जस्तु भैन कोर्ट ने इंटरप्रिटेशन अफ ल इंटरप्रिटेशन अफ कंस्टिट्यूसन डिवरी अफ जस्टिस करने हो तेल पोलिटिकल को इंटरप्रिटेशन का पोलिटिक्स को इंटरप्रिटेशन करने होना पोलिशी को इंटरप्रिटेशन भी करने होना तेस कारण पोलिटिक्स रोलिशी को इंटरप्रिटेशन करने काम चाहे ल मेकर पोलिशी मेकर तिन्ला दिदा उपयुक्त हो भने कुछ मेरे विचार में यह प्रस्ताव ने तो इंडिपेन्डेन्स अफ जुडिशियरी का हिमायती सब भाई बड़ी खुशी पार्न पर्ने थी
तर हालांकि संविधान सभा में यह समिति में यह मत हालांकि तेस कारण म एक्सपर्ट होना सकते म इंडिपेन्डेंट होना सकते मैं ये कुछ बोलने पर्च यही यो दुर्भाग्य हम तेस कारण ये विषय में हमें ख्याल कर फिनलैंड को कुरा करें न्यूजीलैंड को कुरा करें ब्रिटिश को कुरा करें ती मूलुक बारे में के ती माओवादी ने चला मूलुक हो यहाँ तो जुडिशियल कमिटी में माओवादी प्रस्ताव लिया बेल आए फिनलैंड न्यूजीलैंड माओवादी ने चला मूलुक तो होना अभी प्रेसिडेन्सि सीस्टम से अमेरिका अमेरिका में चल तो अमेरिका में तीन चलता खेल डेमोक्रेटिक पो ने में डिक्टेटरशिप हो क्या प्रचंड हो क्या राष्ट्रपति तो अभी डिक्टेटर हो भे हम प्रिजुडिस माइंड प्री कंसिप माइंड हमें जो सोचने कर सोच अ मेरे विचार में ठीक ठाक में पुग्दा रशनल एक्सपर्टर आ वहाँ हमीर चाह मिस इन्फर्म है राइट इन्फर्म कर हमी पठाऊ अल्टिमेटली हमी संविधान सभा में छलफल करने कुछ छद अग्रगामी पुनर्संरचना करने कुछ छद तो अग्रगामी पुनर्संरचना करना का निम्ति जुडिशियरी को अग्रगामी पुनर्संरचना को फ्रेमवर्क के हो तो लाओवादी ने प्रस्ताव कर भेन अरुले करने प्रस्ताव के हो तो आईदिस् ये कुछ राखे बिदा हो धन्यवाद And we need to pose a consensus about the construction, about the authority of the judiciary, which would be good for society and the country. So, with this positive note, uh, let's hear many uh, his ideas regarding various provisions of the report of the committee, uh, which we'll be discussing later. Uh, thank you very much for your comment. Now, I'd like to call upon. Mm -hmm. uh, Senior Advocate Rajesh Shamadikari, the member of the Constituent Assembly, I would like to request you to. Committee on Judicial System of Constituent Assembly. Uh, I will tell you what are the difference, what are the point of divergence, and how uh, what is happening within the CA committee. Uh, so problems what we are facing today. Uh, the Committee on Judicial System of Constituent Assembly has submitted its report and preliminary draft of the judiciary part of the Constitution to the Constituent Assembly for its consideration. It is very unfortunate that it could not emerge as a consensus document, as just Khemlal Deputy has said. The report consists of the majority as well as minority views. The major difference between the majority and view and minority view are who will be the final interpreter of the constitution? Will it be Supreme Court or the Judicial Committee of Federal Legislature? And second one is who will appoint and discipline the judges? Again, opinion differed on these fundamental issues too. Majoritarian view in this regard is that judges should be accountable to the people. In other words, judges should be responsible to the federal legislature. It means that judiciary will be subordinate to federal legislature. That is what we are seeing like this, the majority. Let us first discuss the implication of the interpreting power of the constitution by the judicial committee of federal legislature. Although the majority in opinion is that the issues related to political importance and the rights concerning to the persons of national importance only will be interpreted by the judicial committee. Here it is noteworthy that the issues related to the national importance will be decided conclusively by the judicial committee in case of dispute. The jurisdiction falls squarely on the Judicial Committee to decide and declare those issues related to national importance and ideological fact. Who will have the majority in Judicial Committee? Which may lead to uncertainty of the constitutional interpretation and could take into chaos and judicial anarchy. The dispute between Union and State because we are going to federalism, the, the dispute 
between union and state could be considered a political issue. In that case, how the federal legislature could be impartial, neutral in handling the cases? Will the federal legislature of judicial council will be will not bias in favor of more empowerment of the union? And the second issue is to appoint the judges by the parliamentary committee would not have that much worried if the judges could work independently after their appointment. It was not uh, sufficient for them. That is why the divergence came in. And in general, judiciary should be seen not only impartial or neutral in true sense, but more than that, judiciary should work in independent manner too. In federalism, the independence of judiciary should be guarded zealously, otherwise the constitutional deadlock could be the day-to-day -day affairs. Also from the point of view of federalism, separation of power is necessary between the different organs of the government and should create check and balance in such a way that the constitutional norms would not be violated. Judiciary basically follows the supremacy of the constitution and rule of law. And if it follows the rule of the game of constitutionalism, in my opinion, it should be considered that judiciary is accountable and faithful to the people. Now, I would like to turn to the paper of Professor Stephen Greer. He has rightly pointed out that Nepal is a party of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Also, we are the member of member state of United Nations. A new setup of Supreme Court instead of House of Lords could be seen as departure from the past. So, we have no alternative but to follow international norms, standards while talking about the independence of judiciary. If I could understand properly, also Professor Jai Chen has suggested that without a full authority of interpretation, the judicial authority may become a lame dog and we have to concede to parliamentary sovereignty as well as the chief executive in this sense. Our recommendation that if for historical or theoretical reasons, the courts are not taken as the best reviewer of the constitutionality of laws and government decisions, a more independent body should be created. It would be more feasible and more legitimate than to authorize part of the legislature to work as a reviewer. Could be the answer we are looking after. If Supreme Court could not satisfy the majoritarian members, we could opt for constitutional court also. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Adhikari, for being with the time. And I would like to thank Mr. Pandit Bahadurkarki and also the former Attorney General of Nepal. Thank you. I have well understood the issues before us and before our Constituent Assembly, where we are and how divided we are. So this has made our problem more serious, more critical. Uh, and in this context, this kind of discussion perhaps will help to sort out and to arrive at consensus opinion. Because the constitution is defined anywhere, everywhere, as a consensus document of the people. It is defined as a common heritage of the people. And it should become an article of faith. But it seems the way we are divided, it is going to be a document of hate and division, which we need to avoid. But uh, Britain does not have a written constitution, so it relies more on European Human Rights Convention and other international human rights instruments. 
सो देयर जज देयर डिसीजन्स और जजमेंट्स आर फाइनली रिव्यूड बाय स्ट्रासबर्ग कोर्ट ह्यूमन राइट यूरोपियन कोर्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट्स सो फॉर डिस्कशन अबाउट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रिव्यू जनरली वी लीगल प्रोफेशनल्स इन नेपाल एंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वी वी नो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रिव्यू मोर एज जुडिशियल रिव्यू राधर देन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रिव्यू सो particularly the topic which we are supposed to discuss or which is mind blowing to us is in the context of ca judicial committee provisional report which honorable De mr debkota had admitted it's provisional just it seems just to 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 seek further discussion and provoke really provoke further discussion and perhaps to convince their party people they have placed it maybe finally if they give up they would say to their people that look we are done but this in their jahan jargon perhaps they would explain that this capitalist finally got up let us hope that situation may not arise because we have to finally enact a constitution acceptable to all next paper presenter professor ji chain in her paper i think uh, she has rightly understood what uh, mr devgota subsequently explained so i need not comment more on that even for a chinese scholar who is who is supposed to be well versed in chinese philosophy of law chinese philosophy communist philosophy of constitution and constitutionalism i think they should have more of other session and resolve what is the contradiction involved in their recommendation and their understanding with these remarks i go to the paper presented by professor kulkarni uh, he has read up on particularly the judicial activism being practiced in india by indian courts so by his presentation he has tried to warn both the legal luminaries of nepal and the politicians politicking always found to be politicking with the people so how and we should incorporate before introducing any kind of reservation policy or institutions of course indian practice and indian experiment indian experience definitely would be of immense help for us i also agree with him although reservation has come to stay in nepal and it will stay for many more years to come social justice to one community should not be injustice to another community otherwise the very concept of equality and the very concept of merit will wither away i don't know the const constitution as, as my learned and honorable friend devkota would agree with me as they say in their system 
Rather, this is final system. This is just transition. And people, citizen became dwarf. And finally, it collapsed. And now, yes, in addition to my remarks, my comments to the papers and paper presenters view, I would like to make a couple of uh, uh, observations. Since 1951, one way or other we have been practicing this uh, power of judicial review through the courts. When the 1990 co constitution where we introduced in a big way the power of judicial review, we did not believe in the court or judges alone. We public interest litigation public interest litigation and in a limited way uh, Supreme Court's power of judicial activism was utilized, utilized and they have been rightly welcomed. Although government has not been able to implement all the orders issued by Honorable Supreme Court. Now all other provisions, it seems, from the draft, proposed draft, they want to continue. But the major power of the court to review the legislation itself, they want to take away. That will definitely cripple the judiciary and become, will become helpless. So why? Power of judicial review rightly belongs to the judiciary. It has been proved by the experiment, experiences gained in other highly developed judiciaries. Prescribed in a written form itself in order to avoid the conflict between two branches legislature and judiciary. Whether this belongs to you or belongs to other branches, they wanted to abide it. We also wanted to abide it, so specifically. When I was going through the judgment of um, uh, Marbury versus Madison, the last uh, paragraph in which the certain portion of the Judiciary Act was annulled by the judgment, they said, so in a very powerful expression, learned Chief Justice says, then why you made us, compel us to take the oath when you are saying that you should not look into the provision of constitution? The same constitution says, it is the supreme law of the land. If it is to be interpreted as subordinate law, then how it could, could become a supreme law? This is the philosophy behind the judicial review. And it has been proved by political events, revolution, whatever name you give, that the power vested in the courts or judiciary has not been proved so much disaster than it was, it was when it was put or given to their politicians or political wings. Paper presenters, and also added your views regarding the judicial the exercise of judicial review elsewhere. Now, the presentation part is over. I would like to invite the participation from the floor. Uh, what I would suggest at the moment is that uh, please identify yourself, one who likes to make a point here. Uh, you identify yourself and uh, try to be very precise, be within time, maybe two minutes is enough. And Rabu Samidan Jo Arthama was he. Until Samidan, I saw my action very 
लाई हमने क्या कारण ही विरोध करने पड़े थे तो क्या लाई अनुमोदन करने आगाडी लगे अगर किस तरह में सुधार करने पड़े थे हम लिए हमने कोई तरह मदद आ सकती थी तो ये वाला सारा सुधार मेरे के चमने न्यू न्याय परिषद के लिए जो बटन विधि चार तेजपो सामान्य तैयार इसी टाइप का हम कहते हैं परसों की पार्टियां में इनको न्यायिक समिति वाटा जुनिए का विजन व्यक्ति हो पानी मंत्री को साथ में चाहिए साथ में ना लाए उपस्थित करें दिल्ली में अंतरिम समिति में बने को न्याय परिषद में पुनः आपने रूप लिया था कि री पंचायती कांडों के इसमें हराया कुछ है जो हराया उस पन्ने नहीं और को पक्ष और को चाहना वाला जो उन्होंने परसों नहीं मना लाते थे। We identify yourself. This is Tech Tamrakar, I'm advocate. Let me thank Mr. Prashantan. Uh, since he, he has prescribed a mechanism to protect the economic right, economic justice. I have the reservation on the definition of social justice that he meant. Social justice does not only include or cover economic justice. You have prescribed the mechanism to deal with the economic justice and you have defined reservation very differently. I have the reservation on that definition. Reservation is not uh, a welfare mechanism. This is a human rights issue, so we should be careful while defining and while um, prescribing uh, the opinions to be included in our process. Because we are in the peacemaking process, and peacemaking process will be the real peacemaking process if we in include the issue of social justice. So social ju we should define social justice very seriously. Social justice covers the issues of structural discrimination. If there is a structural discrimination, we should end the discrimination. To end the discrimination, we should have the real mechanism, and that is affirmative action. We should focus to deal with the issues of structural discrimination first, because poverty is the manifestation of structural discrimination. If you have the mechanism, bearing into the mind of only poverty, that would be in, uh, uh, insufficient to deal with the issues in real sense. We should deal with the issues of social structural first. If we deal with this uh, issues of social structural, you have to look after the issue of caste discrimination, gender discrimination, as well as cultural discrimination. The Supreme Court has described in different cases, there are dozens of examples where merit has been defined very prudently by Indian Supreme Court. So merit does not only, me, only you know, cover the qualification on the basis of education. It is more than that. So we should be like honest in this regard as well. And we expect a more from Indian expertise. This is true that we'll, we have to learn from India because they have like long practice in this regard. But it does not mean that we should be very much prejudiced in the issue of like uh, social exclusion to oversight. But, um, but this is only a panacea to look after the issue of dispersed community in Nepal. Because now we only look after like, we only debate and we only discuss about federalism, but we don't care about the rights of dispersed community. Yeah. So, so, so to, to deal with the issue of dispersed community, politically minorities, you should have affirmative action policy as a human rights. Thank you. Ending diversity, ending discrimination. So diversity is the issue of human rights. The last but not least, let me, um, and make reservation on the statement used by Sambuthapa. I respect him, he is the senior advocate and he fought a lot in second uh, Janandolan in Nepal. And he is the one uh, who said that you should be respective while using the word. You used the word untouchable, which is sensitive. I would request you to um, think about it as well. We should be human rights friendly since we are lawyer. We are the defender of human rights. We are the protector of social justice and we are the real actor for constitutional Thank you. Reform. Thank you. Thank you. Krishna Manji. Krishna Manji. Yeah, Jun Bhaktaji Harle, Burjakma Bhagusha, Pra Nepal ko Samindan Banana Hamika Rakaso, Taki Dolko Samindan Vina. Is it easy? I cannot degra Mani Kalatro de Manusangasi, Sasek Dana Savas Made, Napra Nimatri Chali, Tesapani, Athara Danale, Bord Afno Fark Madrakma Vasa. Is it Athara Danale, ex Sasek La Proto Gorsi Gordana, Tele Ozi Boniferi, the Napra Lishamitili Ferry, the Fark Madla Kasiri Kotoni, Afi, or Exa Gurkna Vasa. 
तो वहाँ के अंदर जैसे मुकुल यहाँ के अनुभवी चांस जो बंदा ये स्लाइ आमले इश्यू के रूप में अंतर्राष्ट्रीय कारण घर में बंदा ये फॉर्म मतलब कशरी कठोर है तेरा एक यानी जान सके वाले शायद इले निकास पावन शक्ति उसमें लाख सा और कुछ जो ये सदानी रूप में स्वतंत्र नया तालगा विषय में दूसरे फर्क मात के तेरी फर्क देखिया चाहिए ना वहाँ लोग बंदे बनो आशा और को जनता पति उत्तर दाय होने जरा निर्वाचित पति उत्तर दाय होने भने विषय में बनी दूर मत देखिया चाहिए ना और को जहाँ सभी जो समान पांच होने पर पांच होने विषय दिवार � तो इसको तो आप कशरी बनाओगे भनी और मित्रे के वहाँ को फर्क मार सा तो वहाँ आप ही अभ्यास करने वाला सा शायद निकट भविष्य में वहाँ लिए फर्क मत आप ही करने उनसे बने आने विश्वास सा तो मेरो क्या यहाँ रा अंडर चा बंदा ये अंतर्राष्ट्रीय समाज का बेकिंग जो वाला जे कि फर्क मत घटाना � is putting the bits together. Even if this committee was unanimous, there is still a question about how its recommendations fit with the recommendations of the other committees. Uh, and to go to Mr. Adhikari's point, it does seem to me that there is a really big problem putting this together with the proposal for federalism. Uh, people understand that federalism requires some sort of independent arbiter uh, uh, in relation to disputes between the centre and the regions uh, over the constitutional bargain and the central legislature is not such a body. Uh, and it also seems to me that if Nepal were to choose a presidential system, given the remarks that were made this morning about the importance of, of uh, restraining the power of the president and making sure that that doesn't turn into an authoritarian institution, that that would require some form of judicial review, independent review. Uh, as well. So my, my principal point here really is that there's going to be a lot of work still to be done in putting the bits uh, of this jigsaw together to make an, in, uh, uh, an integrated uh, constitutional system. But can I just conclude by picking up the point about the whole state being restructured and if the whole state's being restructured, shouldn't the judiciary uh, be restructured too? And of course that's true. Uh, that when you have a new constitutional dispensation of this kind, you need to look uh, at all the institutions. And I would say that when you're introducing a federal system into a um, polity that's previously been unitary, uh, it's very important for the judiciary to understand its role uh, in a federal system. And again, I think the Sri Lankan example is instructive here where uh, successive attempts at, at devolution weren't really fully grasped by the Sri Lankan judiciary, thus contributing to the failure of, uh, of those early, rather weak attempts there. Uh, there is a model uh, in the world that, um, that uh, Nepal might, might look at to this, for this purpose, and that's South Africa. Uh, the South African state was entirely restructured uh, when the new co constitution came in. Uh, and they did look at the question of the judiciary and what, how they wanted uh, the new constitution to be interpreted and for whatever reasons uh, they wanted a departure from the existing judiciary. And out of that uh, comes the wonderful institution of the South African Constitutional Court. So I... Thank you. Yes. Good afternoon. I'm Pupatamang Advocate. I'm from Hiller Region. When I am also observing uh, thematic committees of constituent assembly, then whenever I observe there, I see there is no provisions about the hill regions people. There are few peoples living in hill regions, but the territory is very bigger than other parts. And similarly, the people are indigenous communities of Nepal. They are known as Sherpas, Tamang, Hyolmo, and so on. And now we can see here also the people from the region is not here because of education, because there are no development in structures are developed there. No good schools, no good hospitals, and everything. When the people, when I now, the question is, uh, uh, I would like to uh, 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 remind about the professor 
Kulkarni of India, he delivered very good examples of India that reservations about reservations. And in Nepal, also trying to focus reservations only for political, political appointments and the seats of quotas of number of ministry, minister appointments or CM members appointments. But the not about to make a, a holistic development of the whole communities of Nepal and whole area of the Nepal. So this question is, I would like to ask the CA members, those who are attending here, uh, please think about the hilly regions. If we are restructuring our country or state, so we have to give focus to the hilly regions people. I would like to also remind that a few years ago, the Madeshis, they were very uh, deprived. After their agitations, they are highlighted and they are demanding their rights to the nations and their number of their uh, 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 appointments or everything is uh, increased. But there is no uh, number of hilly regions uh, are uh, getting such a certain places in the nations. So this is my uh, the other my suggestions is that why the uh, national experts and the CA members are uh, who uh, who are making new constitutions are uh, not thinking about a youth problem. Many youths are going outside. We have 601 constitution constituent uh, CA members. Yeah, conclude. Yeah. But why not we are thinking about? Uh, 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 the uh, factories uh, to employ them. So uh, for the reservations, please think not to give the political appointments, but uh, to provide the good quality education to the whole areas of the country, so that can be a country's restructuring. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, time is already running out. I have been informed that the next session is ready to resume, so probably I will not be able to take many questions. Maybe, uh, yeah, one question, maybe one minute, yeah? One minute enough. Yeah. Uh, to you have stated that um, uh, judicial activism can be uh, uh, in the long run uh, proved a uh, dangerous one. Uh, and uh, as far as your topic is concerned, you have uh, contemplated uh, uh, regarding uh, the aspects of social justice lessons from India. Particularly, if we uh, look at uh, the Indian scenario, uh, social justice ha uh, has been given uh, momentum and energy through the uh, writ petitions and particularly judges like uh, Krishna Iyer and uh, PM Bhagati uh, have given a uh, very qualitative and virtuous judgment uh, to, to promote and pro to, to promote social justice and protect the right of the citizen or community here and there. So I, I want to know that uh, you have stated that it can be a dangerous one. So how uh, uh, and the limit is uh, on the judiciary that is the, the, the doctrine of separation of power. So what can be the other mechanism that can control over the judiciary? Ju ju judiciary is, uh, is under restraint so far as the doctrine of separation of power is concerned. So what can be your suggestions regarding uh, the restraint on the judicial institution? I, I think that uh, the, 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 the doctrine of separation of power is there and uh, judiciary is uh, working a lot so far as uh, ju uh, social justice is concerned and judicial creativity will promote uh, social justice and protect the right of uh, the community or the individual one. Uh, is your opinion so far as yeah. uh, you have stated that it can uh, play a role in a negative way and it can uh, be proved as a dangerous one. Uh, when and where we should stop this uh, sort of uh, the understanding so far as our uh, please perspective is concerned. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Last, this should be the last question. Yeah. I am P.K. Manand, President of Senar. And by profession, I am also a lawyer, but not practicing. 
My question is very short. I think this question, especially I want to pose to the CA members here, Mr. Khemlal Devkota and the Radha Samadigari. My query is, since you are on the process of making this constitution, my question is, after the federal state, of course we have, we'll have federal Nepal, federal state, what, will there be provincial level of constitutional law? If there will be, then what will be the linkage between the district legislature and the, the central constitution? Thank you. At that time, uh, the organizers have already a question to conclude the session altogether. You want to make a point now? One, one minute, maybe, if you want. Yeah. Action for minorities, but they, they can, it can overturn the democratically expressed will of the people. Um, these are clear choices. Whether you, a, a society in transition like Nepal can, can translate the European experience directly is for you to decide. Than me, but I certainly think there are lessons to be learned from that experience. Honorable speakers, commentators, and learned participants here. Uh, this session has been very lively, very informative, and a good learn from the experience of each other. And I hope the session will be useful for the CA members, particularly. The organizers would have organized this program, particularly in view of the needs of the Constituent Assembly. Here, the different perspectives have been opened off, and we understand there are many systems at work, and uh, no system can be judged as better than the another. Systems do work in their own context. And also, we are making the Constitution in our own context. The element, context, is very important. Systems can be developed, could be better than the other, but Systems can, can be, cannot be transplanted. Maybe even if you try to transplant the system, but the context under which the system works cannot be imported or transplanted. So that is a hard reality that we need to take into account. So if we are going to make a constitution for Nepali people, then it is the concern of the Nepali people, their interests, their aspirations, their capacity, their vision have to be reflected in the constitution than has been the case elsewhere in the world. So, but it is not to make to, not to say that we don't have to be informed by the experience of other system, because this is the human mission, and the, the benefit of one system should be available for the use of the other system. The system will be enhanced in the course of time by the exchange of experiences that realize the essence of educating each other. Today, the judiciary in many countries in transition are struggling to break free from their historically domin historic domin domination by elites, uh, the military, the political parties, or the executive. There are so many forces that will put the judiciary in the critical position, and that may be happening in our case as well. We would not say that we would be influenced by this or that force. No judiciary is completely free to act according to its own. Judiciary would be informed by law and conditioned by the values under which it has to work. So there is nothing like the judicial hegemony that has to be there. Regular will of the people will be expressed through the labor, regular legislators, but the original will of the people will be expressed through the constituent assembly, and that has to be given weight at the time. That should be sacrosanct. That should be uh, prevailing over other wills, other regular wills. And uh, we are embarking on the federalism, and also we are mean for protecting the minority rights. For all these things to happen, then the judicial review will be very crucial. I would not be def uh, defend what is happening here at the moment. It is up to the Constituent Assembly member to decide on the fate of the people. But my point of view is that if we really subscribe to the rule of law, then rule of, there should be a rule of law in the perfect sense, and uh, no, parliament, uh, no parliament should be above the rule of law. And why we make a constitution doesn't make sense, because we can make one legislation for the composition of the parliament and empower everything they can decide on. So that is not the case. So I think these are the serious matters that should be kept on deliberating every now and again and the, in the floor of the House of the Constituent Assembly. So I think this session would have informed in detail and it must, be, must have enticed the Constituent Assembly members to further deal with this situation. I believe that this, situation, this session has been productive enough and I congratulate firstly uh, to the uh, honorable uh, paper presenters 
day your participation. Thank you. With these words, I would like to conclude this session. Thank you. For the five years, yeah. What's it been like? Yeah. What's it been like? Uh, it has been strange. Uh, uh, Pleased to meet you. Enjoyed your presentation.